This is Rick with Shoe 1721. Man, it's fall. It's hunting season. You can feel it in the air. It's 55 degrees. It's just beautiful Saturday morning. What do we have here? The Hajimoto Edition Gauntlet. What, what you got to understand, what you're looking at here <clears throat> is Cerakote stock, bolt, barrel shroud. Very, very nice. Very, very, I, I love the color scheme. Hodge, great work here. We're shooting JSB 1589s today. It's kind of what we tuned it with. And let's talk about that. A little talking point about some of the things I really like was definitely the color scheme, but the Cerakote. But also right here is your power adjustment. So you can adjust your power now to set with whatever pellet you want. This right here, when I got it out of the box and Hodge sent it to me, and I shot it across the chronograph and I seen the, how well I could tune it and how perfect I could tune it. Hodge, oh, you did a great job with this. That is one of the features that I love the most and also you up the regulator pressure. You're in between 1350 and 1400 for the 22 and between 2000 and 2100 for the 25. I thought that was awesome. That was a great move there. That was a true, true selling point for me Hodge when you made this adjustable as soon as you adjusted that I could adjust the power myself with my chronograph and just do it that easy I blew me away I thought that was like that was super incredible today we're going to shoot 50 yards so we're going to go down to the bench sit at the bench and uh, shoot a five shot group I'm going to shoot the shot string for you I'm going to do the trigger pull test so you can see now this all came from Hodge this way and you're probably asking yourself okay this is a gauntlet. Well, let me explain. Uh, Hodge actually sells these for $8.99. So you can, you can just send him a message and say, hey, I want to order one for $8.99. And it'll come. There are so many features on here that he has done to this gun. I can't list them all on camera. You'd be upset if I said them all, unless you want to know them all. But we'll have it in the video so you can see it. There's over 25 modifications done to this gun. And he took, he took his time and thought it all through and did a ton of modifications. Even the transfer port and the barrel, both, they have gone up 80%. So you get more, a lot more uh, airflow there, more efficiency. There's an air stripper. There's so many things to mention. I can't mention them all. Well, we will in the video. I'm going to go down to the, to the bench and we're going to do our five shot accuracy test. And let's see what happens. Okay, here we are at the bench. I did say we were shooting 1589s, but we're shooting the Hades 1589s, one of my favorite pellets. It's my second favorite. The 18 grainers are my first. So, uh, wow. Well, we'll shoot 50 right now. And then we have a video coming up where we'll shoot this at 100 because we did test it at 100. We just don't have a lot of time to get that done today. So we are just going to get this 50 yard test in and see how it goes. All right, some Hades time. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on. I know you guys just saw me look back at Ryan, but there's a reason. Hajimoto, what the heck, man? Don't make a gun this accurate. This is crazy. Oh, I was so close, Hodge. I was so close to shooting one group where I could walk down and stick the pellet in the hole, where I could just walk down and stick this in there. Holy cow, you talk about an awesome gun. 
Man, that's that's just oh man, that's shooting. That's a half inch group. I mean, I probably put that last one a little high. And I had three. You'll see in the video. You'll you'll see the three just look like they went in the same hole. Maybe with these old eyes, I don't know what I was seeing down there, but it looked like the first three were in the same hole. Hades 1589. Thank you, Mr. Dixon. Man, I can't thank Hodge enough. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a chronograph shot string. Now, remember, this gun is tuned, okay? This gun is tuned the way I tuned it. So your shot string is not going to be the same because you're going to tune your gun different because you can. So that's important to remember. But we're going to give you my shot string. It'll be where I have it tuned. And you can go from there and see what you think. But I kind of set this up between, I think, the 865 and the 885 range, I think, if I remember correctly. But that's enough talking. Let's give you some chronograph numbers. I'm just airing up the 3,000 PSI because that's what the bottle is. Got our wonderful tank with all of our wonderful friends on there. All right. All right. So what we're looking at is we're going to shoot a shot string and we're just going to see where it falls off, the, where we can make a, a noticeable difference. Because remember, this gun was tuned to where I want it to be. And I just shot one across and it was 902 on the chronograph. So we're going to see how this settles in here. So I'm just going to shoot a shot string. You guys can see how many shots. I have no idea because... All I did was tune it, get it out, know that it shoots aces like we just saw in the accuracy test. So let's see how she does in the chronograph. Okay. And we're using, uh, we're using the FX chronograph, <clears throat> which has, <laughs> has been awesome. And oh my goodness, is it just wonderful not to think of sunlight anymore. Oh my goodness. So... Well, that being said, let's get the Haji's gauntlet up here. And I set the, you know, where I wanted the Hades to be shooting. So we're just going to shoot here and um, shoot our shot string. So. Think you guys get what I'm saying here? Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Eight hundred ninety-eight. Nine hundred five. Eight hundred ninety-three. Okay. Now I. Just shot a couple shots to uh that's only eight i knew the mag's 10. i had shot a couple shots to uh check the chronograph and get it set up so that's why we didn't have 10 in that mag so oh yeah what a beautiful day except for those blue jays back there yelling ay, ay, ay. Okay, now we got, so we got eight through it. Now we're going to go through ten, so. Okay, make sure I got that set. There we go. Had to bolt down here. Eight 
Okay, I think I lock this back. So there's 18 shots. See that Okay, that was the first one we seen dip down just a little bit. So, let's see what we got there. All right, and that's where I'm starting to see it come down. Ryan, take a look at the, the pressure there. Where are we sitting at? We are getting down. Let's see if I can get this to focus in. Okay. We're below two. So we're below two right now? Yeah. Okay. Those are some really good numbers. I'm just looking at the numbers. You guys can take a look at the numbers there. Um, this is where we saw a dip. So I'm going to actually just stop shooting right there. So there you go. I mean, you get to see what it did there. I mean, that was pretty impressive as far as the feet per second. That just stayed very, very consistent. He has it tuned uh, as far as the regulator. That thing's working great. Its accuracy is great. So you get to see the shot string where I have it tuned to. And... Uh, well, uh, let's move to the trigger test and see what uh, Hodge set the trigger at. Okay, well, this is what we talked about. We got the trigger pull. So this is how Hodge uh, sent this to me with the trigger pull set. So let me come down on here. and Oh, my. I don't know if you guys can see that okay, but that's 14.3. Okay. Twelve four. Eleven four. So you can see where we're sitting in at twelve ounces basically is your average there. So that to me made this gun even more incredible because you put in the Hades accuracy with the way Hodge did the barrel and it gives me the a tune where I'm able to tune this gun to what I want. That's one of the biggest features. So he took this gauntlet and just raised the bar huge. I am super impressed. Um, I'm really blown away that the accuracy I'm seeing at 50, 75, even 100. I did have a nice, uh, just under an inch group at 100, but since I shoot outdoors a lot, and we're shooting groups at 100, and you got the wind blowing. Shooting groups to see, we try and go for a nice still day to see what we can do. You know, we can do our hold, you know, for windage and stuff like that. But we like to just do it where we have nice weather and do it that way. So 
We will bring a 100 yard video for everyone, but not much has changed. At 75, we're still three quarters of an inch. So, you know, I, again, Hodge, you did one awesome job. Incredible gun. Uh, love the color scheme. Thank you so much for sending this to Shooter1721 for a review. This is Rick. That's right. You're over there. Oh, and Ryan. I don't know. I think he was sleeping. With Shooter1721, thanks for watching.